One of the tools that I'll do as political director mm -hmm. is, um, for instance, a comparison of the candidates mm -hmm. so that you see where the candidates stand on the various issues of, of abortion on demand throughout pregnancy, um, on uh, funding of abortion, funding of Planned Parenthood, those sorts of things. Critics say that a lot of these new restrictions are unconstitutional. What is your strategy to deal with that? Well, uh, some may be, <laughs> you know, right now. Now, I don't believe our Constitution as it was written included abortion. They, they, it was a penumbra, a shadow between the lines that where they found the right to abortion. And our, you, know, you won't see that the founding fathers were sitting there saying, you know, and for the right to abortion throughout pregnancy. Um, but um, it, it's, of course, we're trying to pass laws that you know, over the years, Roe has changed based on decisions that have been made all along the way. And so, for instance, uh, uh, informed consent laws can be. The Partial Birth Abortion Ban Act was upheld by the court. Uh, it didn't ban abortion, it banned a procedure. Um, we are hoping that the dismemberment ban will do the same thing, you know, saying that you can't dismember a live baby. Um, it, it's, it's a gruesome, uh, you know, babies can feel pain. Um, those kinds of laws are being passed around the country, and any law can challenge Roe. What are you doing um, on the ground? What, what's your goal? Actually, I'm evaluating all the congressional races, and of course presidential, um, across the country, looking for the most competitive races in the country so that we can determine which ones we'll go into to try to either defeat a candidate and or um, elect one. How busy have you been in the last few months? It's unbelievable. It should be a low time, but it's been very busy. I'm preparing for next year. I think 2020 is going to be an incredible year, especially on this issue. Uh, and, uh, and, and I can feel it already.